us more about this project and what the, the railroad, railroad was attempting uh, to do and why a Turkish company was actually successful in the end. Jimana, so this project is supposed to connect the border town of Malaba to the capital city of Kampala, and construction of the 272 kilometers line is expected to commence in November and completed in a period of three, or rather four years. And upon completion, it's supposed to transport at least 25 million tons of cargo every single year. The model that they're going to use is um, EPC, where they're going to be in charge of the engineering, procurement, and construction. And at $3 billion, this makes it one of the largest projects that a Turkish firm has ever endeavored or signed abroad. Also, Uganda will be seeking financing after Chinese financiers pulled out, and they're looking at syndicated loans with Citibank being the lead arranger. They'll be looking for money from development agencies and also credit um, export credit agencies. And the reason why the Chinese investors pulled out is because they were not sure that the Kenyans were going to complete the SGR for, from the Mombasa port to the Malaba border concurrently with the Ugandan project. And that's why those talks told and this contract was now awarded to the Turkish firm. Mm. What is the expected impact of the project? And, and it's interesting to hear that it's actually Turkey that are looking to grow their influence on the content. What, is, what does that tell us? Absolutely, Jumana. So the, the, there are several advantages to this project. One, it will cut the cost of transporting goods from the port of Mombasa to Kampala by half. Currently, it takes about $3,500 to transport one container. That cost is expected to come down and it will affect also the cost of goods in a positive way for the consumers. It's also expected to promote regional connectivity in East Africa. But in terms of influence, it's good for Turkey. China is beginning to pull back on mega infrastructural projects. And this means that a window of opportunity is opening up for new players. Turkey has already built a 3.1 billion dollar standard gauge railway in Tanzania and so success in Uganda would go a long way in putting them on the map in Africa.